top of the morning to ya. <laughs> we just made this 3D farmhouse St. Patrick's Day collage using our Glowforge, some MDF, and some paint. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. We have a new video each week. This week, we totally got lucky that we had a project in the pot. Yes, we had a little project fail this week. It's not well, a failure. Not a fail. it's, it's on just... hold. Back burner. <laughs> Threw it on the back burner. It's simmering. Yeah, we had to simmer one and come up with another one. Uh, like so last minute. Last yes, minute. we had an all night design session last night. Not all night, but we did work pretty late designing something new last minute. Today's Thursday. We're filming this video today. We will edit today and we will have it out by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we are ready to go. So what are we making? We are making a farmhouse collage frame. So it's kind of like the tear tray. It's got the cubbies. It's like yes. The cubbies. It's got nine little boxes and it, it, it's, it makes you think of the tear tray accents. So mm. basically we're taking those tear tray accents and we're putting it in the nine cubbies and creating this photo collage or frame 3D. collage. Yeah. This well, 3D let's get a pop. farmhouse frame collage. Anyway, I am so excited about it. I can't wait to show you what we've come up with. I can't wait to paint it and oh. put it all together. Yeah. Some cute designs. I even made a cute little gnome. I made it like this little gnome with a big hat. He's got a big hat. Wait, I can't wait for you guys to see him. With a little, t a, a big top hat. Yeah, it's like a big top hat. <laughs> that he is lucky he's got such a big hat. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. All we really needed was a sheet of eighth inch MDF, hardboard, draft board, whatever you call it. A sheet of quarter inch MDF. We needed ours by like 16 by 20, because we're making the, the sign. And we're gonna use some of our country chic paints. Uh, I'll go to the colors when we get there. Uh, just as a reminder, because we always forget to say, always. if you're interested in purchasing some of these country chic paints, they're really great. You know how are we always bragging one about code. our one code. <laughs> you can purchase them from countrychic.com using our code. You get a 10% discount to make it 10. Make it. Make 10. Yeah. Make 10. Thanks, hype man. Somebody <laughs> stole make it 10. <laughs> <laughs> And some of our Gorilla Contact Cement here, our Gorilla Glue. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna bring the eighth inch MDF over to the Glow Forge first, and we're gonna cut out all of our little accents. We got a bunch of cool little accents. And then we're gonna take this one over, and we're gonna have to use a pass-through, because the sign's just a little too big. Just a little too big. It just falls right outside, so we gotta use the pass-through. But the Glow Forge is right here. Unclip it on. Maybe. <clears throat> That'll meet you over at the, the app. We're gonna hop over to Glowforge. I just finished up the design file in Illustrator. I exported it so I could pick it up in Glowforge. It's just an SVG. It does have text on it. Uh, that's some instructions on how to how to actually just put it together. All right. We're gonna start with the accents. So we're gonna move the accents over to the medium. Draft board. I'm gonna set it up so everything will fit. Oh, let's select medium draft board. Engrave, cut, cut. This one's score and cut. Alright, everything looks good. We're going to set focus. Now I like to set focus first because sometimes it will shift. You'll see it shift. So when you hit ready print, it's going to set focus anyway. So you'll see right before it prints sometimes, it will shift the image on your board. So I like to set the focus so I see where it's actually going to lay on the board before I do anything. Alright, let's hit print. Go make some magic. All right, I swapped my board. I put the eighth inch in. I'm going to select everything, move it all the way right. I'm going to start at the bottom of my design. 
Oh, hold on, some of that's cutting. Let's zoom out. We're going to grab all of the stuff that went on the eighth inch, slide it over. Now I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to enable pass through. Bam, uh, there's my design. Looks good. Again, I'm going to set focus. And then I'm just going to hit print or go, make magic, whatever the button says. Step three. Now we paint. <laughs> we have all our little accents cut out and laid out here. I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah, we got another camera going. Yeah. And then here's our backer. The great thing about this little backer is we put these score marks so you can see all nine squares. And you'll know exactly where to paint and not paint or don't have to or different colors. And then the little frame here comes in all the separate pieces, easy to put together, but they're all labeled. All Horizontal, labeled vertical, all. top, bottom. Right side, left side, up, down, left is right. <laughs> That was, that was from my little uh, test cut we did, and we kind of we were like, yeah. which is this? Is this a side? Is this a top? <laughs> I so forgot. We, yeah. By the time I took it out of the board, I forgot where it went. So <laughs> I learned and labeled. Yep. So we test cut it again. Now they're labeled. We dry fit it. Looks good. All right. So let's get this thing painted and see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy to paint. Everything's separated or scored. That's what I like. That's, I don't have to stay in like any lines. Well, and that's also going to be great with this backer. So you don't have to fill in this box perfectly because oh. this um, this is a quarter of an inch and it'll kind of hide. I mean, I mean, you got to get close. Let's not get crazy yeah, you here. You got to get, get close. close. All right. OK, I'll All get right. close. I'll let you start with that. So we're going to do a green and white checkerboard for the back. So we're going oh, to do easy. that in our fireworks, fireworks. and crinoline. So I'm going to let you do that. It surprises me that fireworks is green. <laughs> I feel like it should be orange, orange. or red. Orange. I, I yeah. hear you. I will start with start with our gold items. And I am going to use, uh, I think, so either luminous, which is a really beautiful bright yellow, or this fresh mustard. I really want the gold to pop. And I'm thinking this mustard is going to look like a good gold. So I'm going to start with that. And I'm doing luck. I'm doing the pot of top of the pot of the gold in and buckle. then the buckle. Yep, the buckle of this hat right here. And then one more thing. Oh, I've got to hand paint the buckle on my little cute little gnome over here yeah. with his tall hat. These little finger sponges work great. We got these on Amazon. You can buy them in bulk. Oh, what is that? That's a finger sponge? Yeah. Let me see that thing. It's just on the tip of your finger? Uh-huh. Oh, it doesn't fit on my finger. I guess it does. Ooh, hey. Oh, two of them. Well, that is exactly what our son did when I... <laughs> <laughs> when I get when I showed him these new little finger sponges, he did exactly what Garrett's doing. So, like father, like son. They look like stilts for your he goes, fingers. He says, "Oh, so I can paint. I can paint twice as fast." <laughs> <laughs> Losing focus, babe. <laughs> you introduced me to something new. <laughs> okay, this little kit here, this little lucky charm that goes on the tag, this thing is super delicate, so you have to be real careful um, that you don't break off the little letters here. It's just a wee lass. <laughs> it is a wee lass. Does it? That was pretty good Irish accent, right? Mm hmm. Pretty good. Almost thought I was like straight out of Dublin. Oh, hey, you ever see that movie, uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People? You remember that thing? No. Like, I've asked a million people and they're all like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You sound crazy. Have you ever seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People? It's a real movie. No. 
Back to being it's a delicate. Some leprechauns. Oh, I'll let you finish. All right, go ahead. <laughs> We're moving on. Enough leprechaun speak. <laughs> I was going to make another comment about our buffalo plaid square here. This is also very delicate. These little buffalo plaid stripes are tiny, tiny, tiny. Now I'm not sure if I should do that with an Irish accent or a Rastafari accent. It's a wee buffalo plaid man. <laughs> That's super hard. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> it's not fair that you get to cut out yours embarrassing moments. I love that. Look at this little buffalo plaid. This is the same buffalo plaid pattern that we used at Christmas time to make our tags. We shrunk it down for this little collage. Look at that thing. Look how cute that is. Oh, so cute. It is so cute. I love it. It's just a wee buffalo plaid. All right. I'm going to wear a wee by the end of this, uh, yeah. this video. Mm -hmm. What you're doing over there, but you gotta move on to the frame. I got a tiny, tiny brush. <laughs> tiny brush. Tiny brush. Step four. Ooh, now we're gonna glue it down with this Gorilla Contact Cement. I'm gonna start with the frame, let it dry while we work on the accents. All right, you want me to you want me to start? Sure. How about I glue and you place? Okay, we're gonna work our way inside out. Okay, hand me. Can you still read it after you? Yep. Oh you yeah, you sure it. can. All right. So this awesome. is my right side. This is vertical. Vertical goes in the middle vertically. Horizontal. Set that on the side. Horizontal. Bottom. Vertical. All right, give me something to start with. All right, and this is the top. Quickly, it's coming out. It's oozing out. All right, let's start with this one. You gotta wait two minutes on this stuff. Well, do you want it to be... If you're gonna set it aside, no. Go ahead and lay it down. set this back here and we're gonna set the easy press on it <laughs> until it dries yeah that's what he's decided to use as its weight uh, all right you wait there it is not on <laughs> yeah it's not on all right now we're gonna glue all the little accents together but there's not much to glue together well they have to glue down mostly oh well that'll be ready in like Two minutes. Or... All right. So what the frame looks like. Ooh. Trippy. Do you have our other camera on right here so it can yeah. see? Yeah. Okay. Oops. All right. I didn't say it was that dry. Pulled a rabbit out of the hat or uh, found a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow this week. Yes, I love this. This is exactly what I envisioned. This is exactly what I wanted to make. I am so excited. I can't wait to set this up on my island and using one of those little, uh, like, what is it? Like frame stands? Like frame stand. Yeah, yeah, a little frame stand like we did our... Uh, which, what do we put on there? Like our home sweet yeah, home? Yeah, home sweet home sign. Yeah. yeah, I'll set this on the island so everybody can see it. Set it on the counter. Love Look at it. that, all popped out, all 3D. Look at that, looks great. Let me know what you think. Well, I'll put the cut files up in the store. We'll also make this kit available. Yeah, I, yeah. All these little accents, you can make the frame. It'll include everything. It'll include everything that you see here with all the accents and the frame. 
And You'll cutest, just have to... The cutest little gnome. Yeah, cutest little gnome. All you have to do is add some paint. All right, we're about out of time because we're cutting it close. So I gotta go edit and we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. Think I should balance it? No, dry come enough? on, no. Not dry enough? Mm -mm. You can balance mm -hmm. me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> you could too.